वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी अपडेटिंग माई फ्रेम जनरेशन गाइड फॉर क्लियर ऑप्स के एक्सपेटेशन थर्टी थ्री विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज टी एल एस एस फो ऑप्स केल इन कंजंक्शन विद एक्स एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन विल बी यूजिंग ऑप्टिस केलर मॉड टू अचीव दिस इवन एक्स एस एस लो लेटेंसी मोड विल वर्क द गाइड विल वर्क ऑन एनी पी सी विद एन आर टी एक्स जी पू आई एल बी टेस्ट इन द गेम ऑन माई विंडोज पी सी दैट हैज़ अ राइजन फिफ्टी सेवन हंड्रेड एक्स थ्री डी प्रोसेसर एन एन आर टी एक्स टू जीरो सेवन जीरो सुपर जी पू नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी शोन द सेट ऑफ प्रोसेस फॉर न्यू कम नाइन स्मार्ट इन दिस गेम इट डज़ अ गुड जॉब ऑफ इम्प्रूविंग द गेम्स परफॉर्मेंस बट आई ऑब्जर्व द स्लाइटली हायर लेटेंसी विथ न्यू कम नाइन स्मार्ट कम्पेयर टू एक्स एस एस फ्रेम जेन न्यू कम नाइन स्मार्ट ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस वेरी एग्रेसिव कोस्टिंग अराउंड अ कैरेक्टर्स फीट वेन दे आर क्लोज टू द बॉटम एच ऑफ द डिस्प्ले सिग्निफिकेंटली लेस कोस्टिंग इज प्रोड्यूस बाय एक्स सी एस एस फ्रेम जेन कट सीन्स इन दिस गेम आर कैप्ट है थर्टी एफ पी एस सो आई एल बी यूजिंग लाइल्स फिक्स टू डिसेबल दिस थर्टी एफ पी एस कैप Before showing you the gameplay, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first-party Microsoft Studio and even third-party studios are available on PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, you can purchase stuff from PC Game Pass Store using UPI mode of payment. I'll be using the latest test build of Optis Killer Mod version 0.9.0 preview 2 20250907 available on the Discord server. We'll give its link in the description of the video. Click on the dot seven z link here. We'll download Lyle's Clear Obscure Fix from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. I'll give its link in the description. Click on Files here. Now we just need to download the version of the mod corresponding to the Digital Store platform. As I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game, I'll download the Xbox version of the mod. This is for Steam and Epic Games version of the game. Click on Manual Download under Xbox. Click on Slow Download. The download will start. I'll manually update the in-game DLSS subscaler to the latest version. You can download the latest version of the subscaler from Tech Power of website. At the time of recording this video, it's version three one zero point four point zero. Click on Download here. Click on any of these servers. The download will start. We'll be verifying DLSS upscalers details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with Notepad. Paste. Click on File, click on Save, Close, and run the registry file. This will activate the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, replace the number four here with zero. Click on File, click on Save, Close, and run the registry file. I'll just revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, Open. Yes, OK. Now I'll be installing Clear Obscure Fix. Open its archive file. Open Sandfall folder, Binaries folder, WinGDK folder. Copy all of the files present inside this folder. Open Xbox PC app. Go to My Library. Select Clear Obscure. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. Open the Games Installed folder. Open Content folder, Sandfall folder, Binaries folder, WinGDK folder. Paste the files here. Now, if you want to enable frame generation during cutscenes, you need to make one change in Clear Obscure Fix dot .ini file. Open the file. Make sure remove 30 FPS cap in cutscenes. Setting is set to true. Allow frame generation is disabled by default. So, if you want to use frame generation during cutscenes, just set it to true. I won't be using frame gen, so I'll just stick with false. Up to you. File save close. The fix also disables the in-game force sharpening. Now I'll install Optiskiller mod. Just open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files: Optiskiller.ini, Optiskiller.dll, XCSS frame generation file. DXLAN version of XCSS not required. Super resolution XCSS low latency mode. Fake NV API dot ini and DLL files. Fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. Fail DFX Vulkan version not required. Just copy the DX12 versions. Copy. Open the games installed directory. Open content folder, Sandfall folder, Binaries folder, WinGDK folder. Paste everything here. Change the name of Optiskiller.dll file to DXGI.dll. 
now I'll manually update the in-game DLSS subscaler to the latest version. Open DLSS subscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the games install directory. Open content folder, sandfall folder, plugins folder, nvidia folder, DLSS folder, binaries folder, third party folder, win64 folder. Replace the existing DLSS subscaler DLL file with the latest one. Replace. Now enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. Enable this setting, hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select clear obscure, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator setting. This step is optional. Click on Display. Check the setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. I'll be using RTSS to show you the performance metrics. Open RTSS, click on Setup. Scroll down to the end. And make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker settings are disabled. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. Now RTSS should not interfere with the functioning of OptiScale mod. We are ready to run the game. Play. In-game graphics settings. Using the high graphics preset, upscale set to DLSS. Using its quality preset, reflex on VSync disabled, display mode borderless window. Resolution Full HD Post Processing Effects Disabled Everything set to high and just set Post Process Setting to Low That's it There's Gustav Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the Insert Keyboard key Click on the drop down bar next to Change Upscaler Make sure DLSS is selected Version 310.4.0 Input In-Game DLSS DXJ is spoofing off DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner, render preset used is K. Yeah, this is a transformer model of DLSS. DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Floating particles. Also, fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. I'll also increase the in game image sharpness. Using OptiScaler, check the setting override, move the slider to the right, set the value to 0.500, it's up to you, optional, save INI, no frame generation, close, I'll just switch to Lunar, take foliage around me, yeah here FPS is close to 60, image quality, it's looking very sharp, very clean, but DLSS subscaler makes the hair look a bit pixelated. The leaves floating in the environment produce a ghost trail. Just observe Luna's shadow. She can float in the air instead of sprinting. Your yeah, shadow quality here is looking sharp. FSR frame generation will make it look a bit blurry. Luna's feet, no ghosting is produced around it. Even when the feet is close to the bottom edge of the display. Okay, now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame gen. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select TLSS GUI Streamline as the option. The game supports TLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.7. So this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hardfix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Now click on save INI. Close. Need to restart the game. Click on play. After restarting the game, open the graphics settings. Now you need to enable NVIDIA frame generation setting. Just set it to two times. Apply. Load the same sequence. Just open OptiScaler menu. Check this setting. Active under frame generation XCFG. Frame time graph, it will become thick. This means XCSS frame gen is working. Current streamline FG state, it's on. Current method XCLL. Click on the debug view, you will see these purple sidebars flickering. These sidebars won't appear if XSS frame gen is not working. Uncheck debug view, show detected UI. In this setting, 
is not working okay i'll just use xcss inspector app to verify the status of xcss features minimize the game run xcss inspector app click on show all processes look for clear obscure the game which is running in the background double click xcss frame generation context yeah it's running xcll context low latency mode it's on valid frames getting generated all good here back to the game your yeah, fps increased to around 100 the animation quality is looking much smoother than before when we had frame generation disabled okay just observe luna's shadow floating the shadow is still looking sharp now just observe luna's feet when it's close to the bottom edge of the display very minor ghosting is produced around the feet very difficult to observe this ghosting effect Both results produced by XCSS frame gen. I'll show you some combat as well. When you enable FSR frame gen, you'll notice the ghosting on the bottom edge of the display. You'll also see the flickering around the shadow. This is a checkpoint. VRAM usage is close to around 6 GB. That's good to see. FPS mostly stays around 100. Yeah, I can see the enemy in the background. Engage in combat. Latency, it's not a problem. Base FPS is close to 60. I'll try to counter their attacks. There you go. Perfect parry. Timing is the key. And again. Close to 100 FPS during combat. I'll just finish this fight. Use a skill, Lumia Assault, and played the game a long time. This one's down. Emulation skill. Now I'll show you how to use FSR frame generation with NVIDIA Reflex. Just open the mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG Source, and select TLS HG via Streamline as the option. Now click on the drop down bar next to FG output, select FSI FG as the option, save INI, restart the game, play, just make sure in game NVIDIA frame generation setting is enabled, set it to 2 time, load the game from the same spot, open off this killer menu, check the setting active under frame generation FSI FG, current method mentioned is reflex, save INI close, yeah, FPS is close to 100. Can observe the added amount of smoothness, but frame generation, beg your pardon, FSR frame generation's latency is definitely higher than that of XCSS frame generation in this game. Can observe the delay. Now just observe Luna's shadow. Yeah, you can see some ghosting around it. And Luna is floating in the air. See? And just observe Luna's feet. When it's close to the bottom edge of the display, you will observe some ghosting around it. See, I am recording the video using NVIDIA app. Hopefully it will be able to capture this ghosting effect. So XCSS frame gen produce less graphical artifacts than FSR frame gen in this game. Lower latency as well. I will show you FSR frame gen's debug view. Open OptiScaler mod menu, check the setting debug view. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games interface won't flicker. Just disable DLSS debug only after verifying the upscaler's details. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR will work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Cutscene is playing now and you can see FPS is close to 60. Frame generation is not working. It's up to you if you want to enable frame generation during the cutscenes. Just enable the setting via Lyle's Fix INI file. Before ending the video, I'll just show you how to disable so DLSS debug yeah. overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. Right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.